the shift is happening in your life. You're entering a new cycle and there's a big transformation on its way. You might not be seeing it right now in your physical reality. And you are probably wondering if these type of videos, like the one that I'm making today, is really for you because things are not changing. You might be receiving messages, but you might not be truly believing in, you know, if it's true or if it's not true. And I'm coming to you with a message today to remind you that yes, it is true. Because I feel like people sometimes need to see certain things or need to hear certain things a couple of times before they have that aha moment or that mindset shift or they truly believe in something. And this is the video just for that. Your spirit team is trying to remind you that you are on the right path that things are shifting. Even if you're not seeing it in your physical reality right now, things are transforming, you are making a progress and you are on the way to your desired outcome. You're more than capable to manifest your dreams, your desires. You have everything that you need at your fingertips. And that's what we're going to get into. But first of all, I got a couple of cards that are showing me your current stage or state of being, your current mindset, what's happening in your physical reality, things that you see. And I feel like with these, you can see if this video is truly for you. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it is because there's a reason why you're watching it. However, just for your, you know, just for your own peace of mind, let's say, I'm going to tell you what I pulled for you for what's happening right now in your life. The first card that I pulled was the Queen of Wands in reverse, unfortunately. I say unfortunately because Queen of Wands is a very confident person. She's the queen of her life. She knows what she wants. She knows how people are supposed to treat her. She treats people well as well, but she has her standards set high. And I feel like this is you, usually, but at the moment, I see with a queen of wands, you're not feeling like yourself. You're kind of like out of your element. A lot of you might actually be, yeah, air signs or um, fire signs, mm, rising moon sun and you guys are not feeling like yourself at the moment i feel like it might be because you're pushing yourself i feel like it might be because you guys are pushing yourself on the sidelines because of other people you're paying too much of attention to what other people think and of their opinions and of what they say and in general i see you feeling burned out this is definitely um, connected with what is happening right now or what was happening in your life what recently started happening in your life with the tower you guys had a tower moment which is basically a major change in life an end of something um you weren't aligned with however it could have been very shocking it could have been a massive shift that you didn't expect to happen. It's because it wasn't built on the right foundation. And now you know it. And now you are in the process of rebuilding from what has happened. This could have been uh, some sort of heartbreak. It could have been a breakup. It could have been someone disappointing you. And I see with this card that you might be right now going through a lot emotionally. You might be crying a lot and it's exhausting. It's draining. But the spirit is definitely encouraging you to cry it out, to express your feelings. Because unfortunately, the pain is inevitable in this lifetime without pain, without sorrow, without hurt. We can't challenge ourselves to grow and change the course of our life for better. So we need that pain 
in order to go through the changes. Spirit is here to remind you that this is temporary. So this is how you are feeling probably at this moment. And this is what you are seeing. That's why when seeing these kind of videos of people telling you that you are manifesting your dream reality, you might be in denial and you might be in really big doubt. Uh, because you're looking at your life and you're like, <laughs> where is it? The thing is, this is what's happening in 3D, but in 4D, in things that, in the energy that you cannot see, there is a major, major, major shift that you are going through. I feel like you're not giving yourself enough credit for how you have been handling this situation and for the progress that you've been making and that you are making, that you have been making and that you will be making in the future. So what's happening in the 4D? What's happening where you can't like grasp it physically, where, where you can't see it physically? Uh, we have the Empress for you. We have the beautiful Judgment card. We have the Nine of Swords and the Ace of Swords. You are definitely, definitely leveling up. I see it with the Judgment. I see it with the Empress. You're finding your true calling. You're realizing that you are destined for more, for better. You are letting go of the old self and you're leveling up. I feel like you are right now in the process of finding yourself, your true self, your authentic self. And I see a lot of amazing breakthroughs in your belief system, in the way that you speak about yourself and the way that you talk um, to yourself and about yourself to others as well. There is a mindset shift happening right now that is helping you to get you to your desired outcome, to your desired reality with the magician card over here. The Empress also talks about feminine energy and I feel like you are connecting with your feminine energy much more right now. You are working on that and you're doing a great job. This feminine energy will allow the manifestations to come easier into your life. You are going to realize that you don't always have to work hard hard in order to get something. So there's this mindset shift happening for you. The Empress is representing also a birth of something new, birth of new ideas, uh, birth of a child as well, if you want to, of course, because this video is going to probably go to a lot of people and all of you guys have different desires. But if that's what you want, I see it happening for you soon. With the Empress, I'm seeing you manifesting luxury. I'm seeing you manifesting abundance and bringing more of that into your life. Uh, what's happening is right now that you are not seeing, as I was saying, you're not giving enough credit to yourself. With the Nine of Swords reversed, you are getting out of this depressive state. You are getting out of your negative belief systems and toxic thoughts that were keeping you down. This also might be about purging uh, the negative people from our surroundings, from our life. Let's see, let's see. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the journey. Rejuvenating rain, clear the past, heal the present. That's what's happening right now. You're clearing your path. You're clearing your past. You're healing at the moment in order to step into this new reality and start this new magical cycle. We have staying focused, hold the course. What you're doing right now is really working. You just need to focus on keeping up, on continuing uh, whatever you're doing. Maybe some of you started a therapy. Maybe some of you started a new business. Maybe some of you just decided to move somewhere else and start over your life because of, you know, the tower moment that happened. Um, you're working on something, you're working on uh, becoming a better person or changing something in your surroundings and it's really, really working. Look, another card, keep going forward. Keep going forward. Reaching your destination, your light is shining brightly. 
keep on going and you are going to reach your destination. So just to remind you and to show you the beautiful manifestations that are coming your way, obviously we have the magician here to remind you that you have everything you need in order to succeed, that you're more than capable to bring your desires into your reality. You are enough, you are more than enough, you already have things figured out. So if you are waiting for the perfect timing, now is the perfect time because you are ready. You just need to start. You just need to continue going. The Page of Cups talks about being more creative, being curious, having more of that childlike energy, new opportunities, new possibilities coming your way. Creative energy is really flowing. So if you feel like you are stuck right now with your creativity, this is shifting. The more you listen to your intuition and the more you listen to your body, the easier it's going to be for you to go through that shift, through that heaviness that you might be right now still experiencing. But the heaviness that you are experiencing is not everything. And I feel like this is the most important message here for you to take from this video. The fact that just because things look the way that they do in your physical reality, it doesn't mean that things are not shifting for you already in the 4D. So stop telling yourself that you are going to do something or start something if something happens. Some of you are still waiting for more and more confirmation to show up in your physical reality in order to start something on or, or in order to go after something. Now's the time because it's already here. The shift is already here. And the sooner you are going to accept that, the sooner you are going to start to see the real mm, tangible proofs in your 3D reality. Let's pull some last Oracle cards for you guys for more details. Ooh marriage some of you are manifesting marriage and we have december so this might be december this year these two cars were um glued together so a lot of you are manifesting marriage maybe some of you actually got out of marriage um go out of engagement and you're trying to pick yourself up you're trying to work on yourself um and you are making a huge progress, but you're not seeing it as a progress. It is a progress. You're going the right way. We also have short journey. So to me, this is saying that things are not going to take much long before they're going to start showing in your physical reality. Mm -hmm. Slowly but surely getting ahead. So this is what has been happening up to this point but you are super close from achieving what you want from your desires from your from your desires from your desired reality let's see what else we have a meeting with a stranger could be important so a meeting with someone new I feel like a person from across um, the city the country the globe for some of you maybe meeting someone on the internet we have lion time to act <laughs> yep as i was saying it's time to act it's time to act clouds temporary problems temporary you guys are moving away from this energy you're stepping into new energy we have Beware of self-delusion. So this is the self-sabotage. You telling yourself that it's not changing. It's not happening. But it is. It is. What else can I say? <laughs> All right, guys. I, I, oh, I keep on like looking at more cards. But I feel like... Yeah, I feel like this is enough for today. So thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget how powerful you are. Uh, let me know in the comments how this resonated with you. And 
The first card that I was showing you today is yes, just say yes. So I want you to comment yes with a lot of, uh, how do you call them, exclamation marks. Yes, it could be yes, it could be yes. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this. Yes, heck yes. <laughs> okay, have a great rest of the day. I love you guys and take care. Bye.